Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you something brand new and exciting that launched only a couple of days ago from iHeart Revolution. And it is the iHeart Revolution, and now that's what I call makeup, the noughties. So I went with this one. I love all types of music. I don't have a particular genre. In fact, I listen to music from the time that I wake up until the time that I go to bed. I absolutely love it. Like I say, there's no particular genre that I um, like more than others. I listen to every single type of music. I just love it. In fact, me and my husband have actually collected, I think, every single one of these, bar, I would say, a couple. So we just love music, both of us. Um, I went for the noughties. I wish I'd have picked up all three now because of what I know now. Um, but there is an 80s to collect, a 90s, and of course, the noughties. Now, I went with this one because I thought this one had the most yellows in here. But um, as you can see, I've gone for a totally different kind of eye look today. I've gone for, um, I would say, a pink inspired eye look. Now I know a lot of you um, don't particularly wear reds or pinks on the eye, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. I was intending on going for a yellow eye look, but I changed my mind at the last moment. So let's look at the packaging. This is what it came in. This is the box. I just absolutely love it. Now, of course, it is called, now that's what I call makeup. It is in um, collaboration with, now that's what I call music, of course. And I just absolutely love it. I love the design. I just think it's fantastic. I love it. So obviously it's in the style of a radio on the front. Just love that. Um, I love the back as well. I think it's bright, it's vibrant, it's just absolutely stunning. This is what you're going to receive inside. You've got the information. I should imagine that's ingredients, but it is absolutely tiny, so I'm not even going to try and make that out. Um, as always, there's a 12 month um, shelf life. It is cruelty free and vegan, which you can see there. And you are getting in here 27 eyeshadows at 0 0.01. Um, let me just make sure. 0 0.017 ounces or 0 0.5 grams each. Yeah, so I absolutely love it. I picked this up for £10. It was available, like I say, it released only on Wednesday and it was released on the revolutionbeauty.com site. I haven't seen it on the Superdrug site, but I will check when I add all of the details and if it is available, I will um, add the link there for you. But at the moment, as far as I'm aware, it's only available at revolutionbeauty.com. Like I say, I wish I had picked up all of these now because I obviously picked up one just to see what they were like. And knowing what I know now, I should have gone for all three. But anyway, there's always next time. So getting onto the palette, this is what the palette looks like. So bearing in mind, this is the packaging. Love that. And it also feels expensive as well. Um, so looking at the packaging, this, or the palette itself, this is what it looks like. So the outer design, the radio, is carried on through to the actual palette with I Heart Revolution. Now that's what I call makeup. I just love it. As soon as I saw it, I thought, wow, I'm just in love with this packaging. It's so fantastic. I think it's actually my favorite packaging ever. Like I say, I wish I'd have got the, the others. I really love it. And on the back, it looks like this. So of course, you've got a bright orange sticker with naughties on there, the same information on the back. And then again, the, um, you know, what you're going to expect inside. So you do have a huge mirror here. There is one of those sheets there. I've kept that there so I don't blind anyone. Now I've already done the swatches, so um, you will see that I have already touched these, but that's only because obviously I've done the swatches and a little try on, which I will be sharing the other, um, doing the other eye. Sorry, there's someone outside, not very happy. 
So um, yeah, I'll be doing the other eye in a moment. So um, this is what it looks like. Now I'm just going to turn it up the correct way to start with so you can get the full effect. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Now I can't remember what this is called. Is it called an equalizer? I'm not quite sure, but it's those lights that go up and down when you pop your radio or whatever this, this was on. This is what it looks like anyway. Um, so I think it's called an equaliser, but I could be totally wrong because I'm not very technical. Um, but this is what it looks like, so I'll give you a close up. Now, I just want to mention that on the back of the packaging, each one of these eyeshadows um, are numbered. And then on here, it's slightly different. So you don't have particular names for each eyeshadow. Um, but what you do have at the bottom of each um, like column here, you have a type of music. So in the first one, you've got bright side. So this one is bright side. Then you have got new metal. You've got house, alternative rock, R&B and dubstep. And that's what those look like. So you can see what I mean. There are so many um, not orange, yellow shades, and that is why I went for this one. Um, but I will certainly be taking a closer look at the others. What I've done is I have, and I'm just going to move my mirror for a moment so I can pop this in front of me so I can read all of the information. So um, what I'm going to do now is share with you the swatches and I'm going to um, give you, because I put them in columns, so for example, bright side, you've got one, two, three, four, five shades. So I'll go through obviously each one. So we, we are starting off with bright side. So we have got a matte muted orange. Then we have a beautiful, it's like a blush rosy pink, and that's matte as well. Then we have this shimmery yellow, we then have a very much like this one, but this one is matte and this one has got a sheen to it. I won't say that it's sh as shimmery as perhaps this one or that yellow, but it does have a sheen to it. And as with all Revolution palettes, um, they do mix up the formulas. So, you know, you're going to get matte, you're going to get um, a sheen, and then you're going to get an intensive shimmer. And then the last one for bright side is this matte brown. So there are your first five under bright side. Then we have new metal. So we start off with this beautiful, now this is what I've got on my lid. Obviously I'll be demonstrating that in a moment, but it is a beautiful peachy pink or peachy red shimmer, stunning. Then we have a matte cream shade that I applied all over my lid. Um, then we have a shimmery bronzy brown. Then we have a shimmery red, um, which has got a tiny, tiny little bit of pink to it. So that is your new metal column. Then we move on to the next column, which is house. So we have this greyish matte color. We then have this one, which is stunning. It's a duochrome. So it looks deep brown, but then it looks like a greyish color. It is stunning. Then we have this, which is like a deeper red, very much like the new metal red, but this is deeper and it is stunning. We then have this cream shimmer. I mean, look at that, gorgeous. And this one, I wasn't expecting this. Now, if I'd have done the swatches first, I would probably have gone with this, but obviously I can do more looks. And this is the last one, which is a shimmery orange. So there is your house column there. Then we move on to the largest column, which is alternative rock. So we start off with a matte, it's like a muted um, yellow. Then we have a matte orange. We then have this shimmery fuchsia pink. We then have this matte brown. That is my fault. I swatched it twice because I rubbed my finger in it way, way too much. Um, and so I swatched it rather than, I don't know what else what else to do with it. So that is your matte brown. We then have a mustard yellow. Um, it's like a dirty yellow, this one, and that's matte. And then the last one for alternative rock is this matte 
brown which has got a little bit of a rosy hue to it so that's that one um, then we move on to R&B which has four shades to it so we've got this beautiful it's like a buttercup yellow shimmer we then have this muted rose color so it's very much like the second shade from or the very very um, first column uh, bright side but it's like that second shade that one there um, but this one is lighter then we have a peach matte shade and then we have a matte red so I think whatever shimmer shade you go for here, there is going to be a matte to complement it. Then we have, where are we? Then we have the very, very last um, column, which is called dubstep. So we've got this. Now, this is right up my street. It's a very grungy, <laughs> grungy yellow. It's very dirty yellow, and that's matte. Then we have a matte orange. And this one is brighter. You can see that this one is a little bit deeper. This one is brighter. And then we have the very, very last uh, matte brown here, um, which is that one there. So that's dubstep. So there are all of your swatches, apart from that, which was a little bit rubbish, but that was my fault, not the actual eyeshadow. So there you have all of the swatches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this eyeshadow. Like I say, I wanted to go for something completely different on um, with this eye look. I've been doing yellows, I've been doing neutrals. I've got a beautiful, absolutely a beautiful eye look coming up for you. Um, I can't tell you too much about that, but that is totally opposite to what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So it's nice, isn't it, to you know mix it up a little bit and like I say I know that a few of you don't like the pink or the red um, eye look but I really just wanted to demonstrate that you know well it just looks beautiful and it's I that's what I fancied having on my eye today today anyway okay first of all I'm using my 251 eye increase contour brush um, this big fluffy brush from Primark. I'm going into New Metal, which was that, um, I'll probably have to show you actually, because it's going to be too difficult to find it on my arm. Um, this matte shade there. I really like the fact that this palette has a matte cream. If I can find one um, in the palette, I will use it. Now, I'm just going to have to swap and pop my mirror back there. So there we go. So I'm just going to brush this all over my eye. Of course, I've already applied my base, which as always is the Revolution Pro uh, Eye Elements in Central. Nearly forgot then. Now I'm swapping to, of course, my Primark um, PS Eye Contour Brush. And I'm going in with and this is actually why I went for this look. I wanted to try this one here. So it's the first row is under bright side and it's that one there. Um, let me just see if I can find the numbers. So this is number, row one, number two. Ah, I see what they've done. On the back of the box, you've got one hyphen and another number. So this one is row one, number two. The first shade that I shared with you is row two, number two. So what I'll do is I'll add that information down below if you obviously want to um, try and cre recreate this look. So I'm just applying that beautiful rose shade. It's like a muted, oh, it's just beautiful. I'm just popping that on. It is a stunning shade beautiful transitional shade. Gorgeous. You do have to build it up a little bit. It's nothing to do with the formula. It is just because it is a quite a light shade. Um, also, I'm going to pop that underneath the eye. Got some fluff there on my brow. So 
So I'm just putting that under the lash line and then just connecting that to what we've already already put on the brow. So that, if you don't, um, if you're not able to wear too much makeup, that is just a look in itself. It just gives a little bit of colour without being too much. Now I'm swapping to another brush, and you can see why. I then went in with, and I went for R and B, and it's the bottom um, bottom shade. So it's that one there. So when we look at this one, it is row five, and it's number four. Um, so it's in the row R and B, and it is just a beautiful cranberry look. So what I'm going to do is just start working that on the outer third and then through the crease and blend it up. So you can see what I mean. It's very, very red. But this is what I wanted to do. I had a look in my mind as soon as I saw that um, first shade I knew that this is what I wanted to do because I haven't done one of these looks for quite a while and it is just a beautiful beautiful look I like it so I'm just blending that out a little bit I think I'm getting carried away and I've gone a little bit too high, but never mind. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love this. I really like those looks where you've got um you know like one type of color not necessarily one eyeshadow but one type of color and i'm just taking whatever's left on the brush if i'm going to add more why not and i'm just putting that underneath the eye like that Gorgeous. Love it. Just going to blend out this bit here. Love that. Now, what I did, I went in with um, this shade, and it was from New Metal. So, this one this row here and I went in with the top one so new metal so it will be row two shade one and I'm going to get my finger and this is just a beautiful shade it's I, I don't know is it pink is it peach not quite sure but whatever it is it is beautiful There, like that. I'm not going to go any further because otherwise it will end up all over my face. I'm going back in now to the red shade and I'm just going to deepen that up, blend it in to make sure it's all blended like that. Stunning. Now what I want to do is to just finish off the look. What I want to do is just add an inner corner highlight. Um, and when I looked, when you look at that peach tone, there's a little bit of yellow. So I thought, hmm, why not? So I went in with, it's in house. So it's in the house row and it's that beautiful yellow there. So it's row three and it will be numbered one, two, three, four. So three dash four, 
and I'm just going to use my Primark eye brush. Is it? Um, I forgot what. I, no, a pencil brush. <laughs> As usual, you can tell that I'm getting excited um, because I'm just, everything's going to pop basically. So I'm just going to go around my inner corner. Love that, nearly went into the wrong yellow then. Oh, just stunning. There we go. So that is basically the whole eye look done. Not quite complete yet. Um, I'll just give you one last look at this palette. I just love it. Um, this, when you look on the website, I thought this was just like the back of the palette. It's not, it's actually flush. Um, yeah, so it is all lovely. I just love it it seems so much more expensive than 10 pounds and i'm really excited about it okay now what i'm going to do um i've just got to apply my liner which as always is the revolution hd smoky waterproof liner like that and of course I'm going to add a little bit of mascara, so my Primark PS Amplified Mascara. Oh, no, no, no. Oh no, I knew it. It's, it's been one of those days all day. But there we go. I knew I was going to do it, but <laughs> my hair has got a mind of its own today and just wanted to get involved. But that's all sorted. Like I've said before, that's happened before and these things happen um, to the best of us. So that is my eye look featuring the new iHeart Revolution. Now that's what I call makeup palette, which I'm in love with. If I had to say one negative thing about it, the only thing that I would say is that, if I can open it up again, oh, there we go. Um, the, I found the pan size a little bit of a struggle to get my brushes in, especially my larger ones. Um, so that was the only negative that I can come up with, but it's not really a negative because I still managed, even with this sized brush, which is huge. It's certainly a lot bigger than the pan, but I didn't manage to get any other shadows on the brush, but that was my only thought was that the pan sizes were a little bit small. But apart from that, I absolutely love it. I love the shades that they've come out with. I love the packaging. I just love it. I love the idea because at the end of the day, I absolutely love music. <sighs> of course, I want to hear your thoughts on the eye look. I want to hear your thoughts on the palette. I want to hear your thoughts about if you've picked these up, which ones have you picked up? and um, do you love yours basically um, so yeah I would love to hear all of that information um, as always if you have just stumbled across my channel I would love it if you subscribe to watch further videos uh, obviously do select that notification bell uh, to ensure that you don't miss any because I do upload quite often every day apart from Sundays um, but until tomorrow thank you so so much for watching thank you bye